Uh, while we are waiting for others to join us, let's talk about the brushes and tools that we're going to use. Okay, this is great. So, uh, if you have any questions, anything you want to stop me, post a comment, okay? Post the comment and everyone can talk, like pretend we are in a classroom. Okay, let's talk about the brushes. And this is one and a half inch brush. Uh, most of you probably already have it and have been using this all the time. And this one is a little bit smaller, so one inch, like a little brother of this one. I am also gonna use this number 12, a uh, round brush. It's a sable and you've seen me, seeing me use this uh, all the time, almost in every watercolor painting. Is everyone here this is good? It's good. I already wet those brushes so it's ready to uh, start. So what we're gonna do today, our plan is we're gonna start with this photo reference first, this image, and, and we're gonna draw and we're gonna paint it. Uh, after we finish this, and then we are going to talk about how to add other elements. Like uh, what I'm thinking right now is to add the catch the shadow because the whole wall kind of plain. Is there's no, there's a little light and shadow in the crack between those blakes. But I want to have some area of the painting to be a little bit less contrast and some of the areas to become a little bit more as the focal point. We keep talking about focal point lately. Now let's take a look at our reference first. And if you already download the photo reference, that will be great. You can put it on your computer screen, maybe have it side by side with the YouTube uh, page so we can draw together. This is the photo reference. And what we're gonna do, this is my table here. And I'm gonna use a 2B uh, graphite pencil. First, we're gonna probably draw the horizontal few lines. Let's say in the middle over here, in the middle, and let's draw a little line. Is that exactly a line up? And let's draw, draw the straight line first. Like that. That's a straight line. Like a, that's thinking about, we don't have to draw everything. Okay, we don't have to draw everything. You can draw, the, make the blicks a little bit bigger. Uh, or, or, take, or take the whole reference in. And we're gonna take a look. Let me see. So I'm going to say the blicks is about this wide. Like this. Do you see my pencil line? Thank you. Okay. That could be, we are going to have the blick about this bit. Do you see this, right? And we're going to continue that this distance, we can also include the gap in between. So if you have the paper, pencil, and brushes ready, you can draw with me uh, at your end. Let's take a look. We don't need to worry about too much about the pencil mark. At the end, we can erase them. Or we decided to keep them as a part of the artwork. So the, the, the space between the blick is about like a one third. About yeah, about one third of the space between the blick, the width of the blick. I'll say that the height of the blick. Okay. Good. And let's uh, keep going. Draw the skylines. There's not gonna be the uh, the space of the blicks, but however, we're gonna draw the guideline. Uh, let's do a little bit quicker. Like that, a little gap, like a one third of the, the space for the gap. By the way, I haven't done this uh, painting before and I try not to do it. Uh, I had the temptation, I want to do it first, uh, but it's going to remove uh, lots of 
spontaneous uh, excitement. So we're gonna do it together and have fun with this. Okay. I'm not sure I've been drawing too much details like this. All right, I'm just going to see the space. Just draw the space for this. Making sure a little consistent uh, with the other blacks. I don't want to see look like the black in perspective. Like is one closer, one far away. That probably not not a good idea for this painting. So we're going to draw this through, and then we're going to draw a little bit more details. We're going to take as much time as we need to finish this painting and then we can have a good discussion after. Okay, almost there. Draw the skyline. This, by, by the way, I'm drawing now is not from observation. I actually draw from understanding of the layout of the blick and the and the space between the blicks. Okay, now we're gonna see. Uh, I'm going to focus on the the rows in the middle. Are you guys okay with me? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start. If something need to left over, uh, uh, being ignored, that will be the uh, the blicks on the right hand side. So I'm going to start with the one in the middle here. So I'm hopefully you see what I'm doing. This one blake. Like this. Have a little gap over here. And I'm thinking about to uh, leave the white for the gap. Right now. That is the second break. Like this. Hopefully you see the details and right in the middle, the on the left side, right about here, right? This is the blicks I'm drawing. So I'm gonna start from here and this is considered my center area, center interest. And also those space over here it's going to be also covered by Catch the Shadow, I'm thinking. I'm not quite sure. We're going to play by ear to see how this goes. Hi, Casper. I'm glad you make it. Okay, we just started drawing. Okay, I'm going to keep going from there. And the next break over here, this looks like a little bit higher. Look at 2D a little angle and coming down like this. Maybe this one a little bit wider, a little bit. So I use an eraser to correct that. We're gonna enjoy it. So if you decided to do it with me, uh, we can do a little bit slower and, and we can all have fun together. There's a little white in the middle over here. Okay, again, I draw the blicks in this row. It's about from here and gradually going to the right. And then we're going to, I'm going to expand those details and keep drawing and drawing in. And then we are going to start the painting after. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is a little bit lighter color. Again, we don't have to draw all of them. The pencil I'm using is a 2B. So it's not too dark, but easy enough to draw. Okay. There's a little detail here, a few um, white dot right in here. Okay. And then this is the right side of the brake. Like that. That's one. And then we'll keep going to the next one. Pay attention to those details in the crack. 
uh, we already done the print, the overall printing. So we just going to add those details. I uh, need to focus back on what I am drawing. And oh, this one is interesting. They have a little gray color coming up here. And here we go. And have. So basically, right now, what I'm, what I get to, is only this blacks only about get to this area, like the top over here, this area, okay? It's not be able to get cover like a two third of the whole image. So this is good. I'm gonna get that, and then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the. The row underneath. It's very interesting. Uh, one hand, we don't want to make it too general. Okay, that would lose those interesting point. Oh, that's great, Angela. We do it together. Uh, okay, now we're gonna come to the row underneath. Okay, that it looked like this, like that. And that actually there's a crack, a very interesting crack. If you lost, uh, did not be able to follow me, and in the in the drawing process, it's just go ahead to do do it on your own, do it as fast as you can, so we can start the painting. So at this over here, we actually have a little darker color in the crack. Uh, that's good. Uh, this black is broken and have a little white, a little white over here. After we done this once and in the future when you need to draw a black wall again, uh, you probably know a better way to do it. Okay, but this is our first time. We're just trying it. Okay, have a little crack over here. And after this drawing printing, and we can do it really quick uh, for the painting. Okay. That's good. It's going through. It's lots of interesting thing we can pick up. Like it, the machine is gonna get noisy. Um, but it's okay. If we make this work, and it's, if we, it's, this is a good practice, and then we're probably gonna do more and more of this kind of life lessons. I like to be able to get closer to you, and you probably know that. Okay, now come down over here a little bit, uh, the white, and get in in here, good, and like that. So, let's get a little slower, have fun with this process. And one by one, just thinking about that, because when we start painting, we'll not be able to look at more of those details. We're gonna start getting exciting. And let's see. This, I come back to the third row. It's probably here now. And I'm gonna continue on that. And keep going. There's a little white over here. I just make the area in the white. Uh, you might thinking about that is, uh, do we need to use masking fluid? Uh, for this painting. I try not to use masking for it because that should make, make more work for us, one hand. Second hand is a lot of things that I can paint around it, I use paint, painting around it uh, instead of getting the masking for it because uh, the edges, it will be different and also the spontaneous part it will be removed from our painting process. I'm gonna keep going over here. This is the next break. It's 
pretty easy. Uh, pretty easy to get there. It just just look at it, and some has the gap has a very thinner. Some gap is a little bit wider. This this is definitely an old wall. Okay, where is it? Okay, good. I got it. Coming back here. Okay. That is a little shadow under here. When I was thinking about that, I need to uh, make some changes uh, to the uh, to the crack. Maybe we're gonna should be uh, exaggerate some of the crack and maybe eliminate some of the crack. So we're gonna be uh, break that uh, so flat balance look. Um, I'm gonna keep going to get this finished first. Okay, good. I got it. Come back to. Okay, just have something over here first, and some white gap. Okay, and there is a little gap over here, and there's a few dot uh, for the white color okay that's good now I'm gonna get to the next row let's see that there's a little shadow in here and there's the next one interesting the next one okay I'm not sure you're seeing where I am uh, drawing from the reference and okay okay post something post a comment if you have a suggestion for me or do uh, you want me to stop doing something or maybe do something a little bit different Okay, there's a little gap over here. And for this painting, is getting enough detail here, I think it's very important. Uh, because, so we're not gonna get lost. Again, I don't think this is what we're gonna do. Strictly, there's only the reference. Uh, draw it as a guideline, as our guideline through the painting process. And if you have time in the future when you draw something, if you don't like a part of the reference, you can just drawing random breaks from the reference. Interesting. Uh, you are a lot more creative. Okay, where I'm going now is here. If there's some interesting connection between blicks. Uh, the only thing I want to say is don't make it look too general because if you make it too general and it would more likely look a little bit too flat or maybe lost the this now the authentic feel of the wall. Okay, I'm gonna come to this one. I already done that and then coming down to the next one. So we already started for 20 minutes. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, if you have to lock off uh, from your side, yeah, the video, it would be there for you to look at later today. So, um, but hopefully you can stick with us and through this process, even better, you can draw with us. 
I'm gonna draw, try to draw a little bit faster. I kind of cannot wait to start the painting. Okay. Okay. There's a bit of tedious work at this point. Okay, that's good. That's the gray color there. Okay, that is a little bit lighter yellowish uh, half break over here. And there's a little darker color. Uh, there we go. That. And then the next one. Okay. It's just for the people later when they see the video. Uh, the reference, and it will be posted um, in the Patreon. Okay, if you're a member, if you are the painting with me uh, level, that you can always go back there to download the image and paint it along with the video. If you're not a member, so please come to join us. There's a lot more we can do together. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next row. It's very interesting. And I'm almost done the half, half of the, the drawing, okay? It sounds like we're in a con con uh, contest. Okay, here we go. By the way, the paper I'm using, I haven't talked about my paper. We talked about brushes uh, earlier. The paper I'm using is a, a Arches watercolor block. Uh, it's, a, it's 140 pounds. That's usually what I use. And you can also use other brand of paper like uh, a Stratmore uh, cold press uh, should be good enough for this painting. Okay, the pencil is very light on the screen and hard to see. Oh, I'm gonna draw a little bit darker. Thank you for letting me know. To me, it's pretty dark, but I'm gonna draw a little bit darker just for the, the view. Okay, is that good enough? Okay, just tell me when you see this, when you hear me saying this, uh, tell me it's dark enough, this one. Uh, let's see, where am I? Okay, good. Now, this black edge are coming down a little bit in this angle. And should be a little bit longer. Okay, all right, I'm gonna keep going here. And then there is a little gap over here. I guess like the authentic feeling of the old black wall is become quite helpful to get the, the message across. The old brick wall has lots of history. Okay, where are we going? Well, over here, that's good. Uh, that is this line. I'm get to this row now. I think it's here. Get to this row. I'm gonna keep going over here. Okay. Thank you, Casper. Okay. Uh, are you drawing with me? Okay. All right. Let's see, like this. Okay. I almost literally uh, taking almost everything from the reference. Not exactly everything, but it's lots of interesting mark. 
But also when we start the painting, that we're going to be selected. And what is going to keep what we're going to ignore. When we get, when we get to that point, uh, we're going to see how the color work together. Okay, we're going to be creative then. Okay, this is this black a little bit straight. Okay, this a little bit angle. Let's see. Uh, where do I get to? Okay, here. Okay, that's good. Okay, good. Okay, let's see. Where am I? Here and all the way here. Good, let's see. There is a little white shape right here. <laughs> That's good, Vicky. You're a great designer. Okay, that keep going over here. Okay, almost done. Now, this part. Um, then let's see. That have a little gap over here. And you're going to see. I truly believe that if you do more preparation, and I think this is our preparation time, uh, you're going to have a, a lot more freedom at the end when you are doing the painting. And now we're going to, it looks like the blick get a little bit wider and wider. Uh, try to avoid that. We make it a little consistent. Keep relating to the blicks at the top that probably uh, a good practice. Okay, let's see. Okay, almost there. By the way, about portrait drawing, I, I have student post for me uh, at, in Boston. I, I'm gonna do like every week, week I'm gonna do at least one portrait light demonstrations. So um, I'm gonna publish them uh, for the member here first. So if you are preparing doing some portrait, if you have someone can post for you and we can start a little light portrait uh, movement. So let's see. I'm talking, talking. I think I, I kind of a little get lost. Let's see. I'm painting on that here. Good. Like this. Uh, a little bit less, less crack. Come down here. Good. Now I'm also going to include some of them at the bottom over here. So um, if you have a watercolor block that you can draw all the way to the edge, but you should know also, even though you include lots of detail at the bottom over here, when you frame it, or after you sell the painting, when you frame it, and this is going to be a quarter of the inch, would be covered. But this is good, like a, do it off the page. So you can have a spread to outside the frame. Or say outside the mat board. Okay, here. Here we go. Try to include some interesting. Uh, this is coming down a little bit, this break. Some interesting details. And we're going to see how we're going to arrange our color. Are we probably going to. Um, change it so that it would better match to our taste. I'm going to come up here now. Now, I am drawing at the details at this area. I'll show you now, at right here. Okay. There's a lot of white colors on top of the brown color. So I'm going to try to um, 
draw those area and it would be hopefully you can pick up those interesting okay let's see the crack over here yeah this is about the size of the blade okay quite a bit of now the bottom over here making sure I have the similar um, space and that look for the evidence from the reference And since we are all here, hi Casper. Well, the focal point is what we're gonna do at the end that we are gonna use catch the shadow to block out some area so that we have a certain area for uh, the focal points. So that is our, our thought. It may not be good enough, maybe, maybe we should have a, a plan of flower over here but today uh, our uh, our painting is about to tackle the challenge of the black wall and I'm gonna add the catch the shadow uh, to that but it may not be enough but we're gonna see so it's kind of like a, we're gonna test it we're gonna see how it's gonna go with this painting okay um, where are we now it's good now here That's a good point. I like your thinking. Maybe we should get a focal point. I just, it just kind of, I have a reference. Interesting. I'm going to, about going to do that in the near future. There is uh, outside my house on the wall that a few years ago in the summer, they has uh, a few leaves. Uh, on the coming up along the wall and that is looks really good and I want to find that reference and I'm going to share with you uh, maybe you're going to do uh, a painting of that but let's uh, okay there's some hold here uh, maybe I just going to go up to the next row from here and I think that's a little bit higher. I'm gonna think about how this is gonna relate uh, to the neighbor, to the row uh, above it. I'm gonna come up here. Now yeah, there's another, another break right here. That's quite a bit of gap. And then keep coming up. And then a little bit up. Oh, this I don't want this to be look like. Uh, that's not usually the case that actually uh, this and the actually coming over here. The original idea is about to, we haven't done the brick wall, let's tackle the brick wall. And, but we're also going forward, looking forward to create a nice painting creatively. So I'm going to see how this is going to come out. Uh, is that, okay, like that. I'm probably going to lost, I lost my, my direction. Let's keep going. This is all the small blicks over here, uh, like that. Okay, now come up here. There's a little bit more orange flick. We don't want to make the break look too just boxes. 
I'm gonna see how we're gonna tie all those elements together to create a more cohesive artwork. Uh, the sound's gone again. Oh. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully this is gonna come back. Let me know when, when it comes back. Uh, this here and this has a gap right here. Is that to everyone? Okay. Oh, it's back. That's good. Thank you. Um, okay, we're going to keep going. I maybe ended up have to uh, download the video and edit it down and cut those uh, part that is bad. Uh, and then I'm going to repost it. Okay, I'm going to see this. And when it comes to this point, that is a pink color wall, pink color brick, and coming down. So the interesting on this brick reference is all different kind of colors. Okay, this another one, and little gap over here, and little gap, and another pink color, like. Okay, I'm almost done. How are you guys doing? Uh, up there, there's big gap, then that, and good, come up here, continue. Okay. If you're done your drawing, wait for me a little bit. Um, that good uh, okay that it will be let's have this area a little bit blur kind of have there now I have the, oh I'm gonna have this up here that is become a lot more white and gray color and then have something come back now come back here and have just a few pieces okay like that i think my drawing is done I, it's just uh has been a long time on that okay you finish great vicky uh all right how are we going to do it from here? Um, I'm going to have a little bit those darker contrast maybe over here, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out um, after we add the catch the shadow. So let's see how we're going to do that now. And I'm going to use this round brush first. Okay, this round brush. I'm going to, let's see. Are we ready to paint? Okay, Angela, let me know when you are done. And I'm going to start making, mixing some color first. Okay, again, just to make this a little bit more uh, consistent with the way we have been painting. I'm going to only use this three uh, primary colors. So get a little bit yellow color here. Like that. Get a little blue color over here. Uh, I think this is good. Maybe a little bit warm. Uh, may not be too dark. So I'm probably going to have the whole wall 
a little bit lighter maybe but again we don't need to worry about too much about that because when the painting dries it will look lighter anyway after it dries so okay let's go in and start the painting are we ready oh you're ready good let's do that so what I want to do I'm going to start also from this area so when I'm painting I also am going to uh, leave the white okay just look at it draw draw the color a little bit slower like that so start from this blick right in the middle if there is some areas so a little bit okay a little bit uh, darker don't worry we don't want to leave anything is darker than this color only leave if there is the colors is lighter okay so we done this one at the same time if you think it's some darker color over there I'm gonna put a little blue color here there's the the present blue is what I use and when it's still wet it says tap on it just tap 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 a little color so the color would be like a merge into uh, the car the lighter color area and now what I'm gonna do I probably gonna paint down over here too this two color look a little bit similar so I'm gonna add a little water about that color a little bit red I'm gonna pick this color okay here you go and I think at this point you can get a little bit more water into your brush uh, but make it more controllable okay now one here and I'm gonna change the color a little bit to a little bit uh, like a purplish so I'm gonna take this color and the plus and blue are you guys okay I'm gonna start over here like this hmm it's okay there is the colors different from uh, the the black next door okay uh, that will be fine but the important part here in this process to leave the white okay don't destroy that we try to create the authentic feeling of an old brick wall and come up a little bit and have it down a little bit and you see what I'm doing so let's look at it before I continue and I'm gonna add a little bit red color and I'm gonna paint it in the middle here so I have a little bit changes from one side to the other side so that's good and let's also continue on the next flick this two color looks very similar so I'm gonna leave a little white on the side over here I'm gonna keep going with this there's some white gap leave the white like that look and paint get some interesting details in if you don't want those details we can remove it later but I think it's important to have it okay I'm gonna leave a little white uh, shape over here now let's finish this one first because this is warm but however uh, in the middle over here I have little gray colors I'm gonna pick this a little blue color here I'm gonna just tap it on it so let the looks like a little sting to the black and get a little bit blue okay thanks isn't good it's good enough like that so it's gonna make a little wet into wet like that and I'm gonna keep going oh the next one it will become lighter so I'm gonna come back over here I'm gonna do this one this one is similar colors so get a little red and I'm not sure how red that would be I'm gonna say okay this one as become a little bit more more interesting now okay this side's a little bit orange -ish. okay good and in the middle over here I'm gonna leave a little white like that 
and that's good for this one maybe a little bit wider and how's that look at your side I'm gonna add a little blue color so I'm gonna add put a little blue color in here so let the color now at this point we don't have to do exactly what the reference look like if you have a better idea to make it look more interesting uh, go for it I can come back over here too like over there those uh, add a little blue color there it may be even a better timing we're gonna see have a little uh, let it have a little crack somewhere now I'm not gonna on the next one I'm gonna make it a little bit more orange so you know you already know the color that you already have but none of those colors they are really bright so don't worry about that is it's gonna be really bright color or what okay this is a little bit more orange this black maybe a little bit red but it, we don't have to do exactly what the the reference show okay let's see that's a little come down like this a little uh, white space and here like that good have a little bit yeah, a little white over there and there's a little white gap over here a little white dot okay that's good now coming through and fill in this space it's a little bit different from what we have done in other lessons we focus more on the starting from a big shape and then a smaller shape but we are actually just building all the spaces first and then we're going to do the adjustment as yeah, so it's not too far off from what we have done and then we're going to go to uh, this blake are you guys okay and like this we're going to work in the gap later okay now and over here I'm going to have a little bit more red a little bit kind of like a purplish I get a little blue in here that's just perfect I'm going to a little bit purplish as you know the three primary colors very much can make up most other colors uh, but not exactly all the color in the world and we don't want to do that and and if you really need some special colors then buy it but for most uh, cases um, this is already good enough uh, also plus we are composed the color to create the feeling we could change the colors that we see uh, maybe a little bit change it that probably even come up something even better okay now it's come to a little bit more orange now I'm going to take this color instead sometimes change the colors uh, to only from the primary color the limited color palette it may be make the color a little bit more consistent and probably even a better result even though it's not always the case but that's my experience I think this has been good so now I'm gonna gradually going going away on this side we're gonna see that this color is very similar to that color and oh wait a minute and similar to this colors so I'm gonna ha have that colors in here a little bit more yellowish with this color a little bit lighter so take a little bit water now let's see I'm gonna start this first kind of lighter it's kind of interesting get some variety uh, coming down here good just enjoy it one at a time and before you know it <laughs> we're probably gonna get, get everything covered so coming down here and a little gap okay 
it's almost I think there's a little bit more red on the side but we can also have this darker color gap over there after it dried so we can change the color a little bit later okay and this color actually can be a little bit lighter too so when it's like 80% dry if you put the wet color into this area and that color will become you know create those dis distorted um, texture that probably would look even better for the painting so don't worry about it try something that you haven't done before that actually would be be experiment and have fun with it and we're going to continue on this Uh, very similar color, but I make sure I leave a little white over here on the on the bottom. Okay, it looks like you guys are very quiet and enjoy the painting. And if you want, you can have the the um, have some little texture, like say you paint it like this, and let it. A little bit unfinished that probably fine that's make it a little bit more fun to look at and for this one I'm gonna have oh Casper okay take your time okay take your time have fun uh, I'm gonna see this color a little bit more darker and purple color Okay, right here. Right here. That's good. Do you see what I'm, what I, which black I'm painting? You probably see it. That and have some white colors that it uncover. So. Now I'm going to get to the next one. The color a little bit exaggerate as, as some area. And this one had a little bit more green, so I have, which is a little bit more yellow and blue colors. So I'm going to take this color and mix with this uh, mixture. That's good. Like that. That's good. Okay. And the bottom of here had a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna give a little warmer color here too. Uh, if you want, you can make merge together, it's fine. Like that. That's fun. Okay, what's the next thing? The next thing, a little bit orange color. So I'm gonna, a bit, a little bit lighter. Probably this is, will be good colors. Let's take a look. Oh, that's fine. Pink this color first. If you want to change it, you can change it. You can, now you can put some other color into it. If you want, let's tap on it. Let it create a texture. That's fine. Okay, this is great. That's just, that's just the, the start, good starting point from here and there. And we're going to overlay other colors after it drive or in the middle of driving. Uh, let's take a look at that and this color. And this color, actually, I can have a little bit cool color and laying over the top. Oh, it's not totally dry yet, but it's okay. I'm going to just drive it through to create some texture like that. Good. All right, we're going to come back over here. This is look a little bit more orange color. Now I'm going to mix a little fresh color, a little bit yellow and uh, red. Let's take a look. This color like this. Oh, nice, right? And maybe a little bit too light, a little bit too much water. So take a look at this color. Okay, a little bit fresh, good. Now, since we established this interesting shape, now we can do a, do a little bit faster for the rest. Now I'm gonna a little bit red, and, but it's too bright. So you know how to kill the bright, the bright colors that we can just add a little another complementary colors. That's good. 
Now, here we go. I think it's also a good exercise for color mixing. Okay, here we go. Coming through here. Yeah, like that. Looking for the shape. Again, we don't want to make it too general. We want to make it a little bit more authentic. Make it a little bit more believable as a black. So, and I think this color is fine. I keep going. Maybe a little bit yellow. So, here we go. Like that. That piece. Let's get the next one. The next one, I'm going to paint it with this color first, and then I'm going to uh, add the the blue colors to make it a little bit great. Next, they are actually all skin colors. Uh, they are. You can see that the whole international uh, colors already in uh, on the brick wall. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to uh, add a little blue colors. Okay, a little blue color in this area. So tap on it. Okay, tap on it. And the color will merge together. Like that. Interesting. And on this side, also tap on it. So. This technique I'll call dropping in color. This is very useful. I probably would soften that. I don't want it to look like a shadow. Okay, this is great. Uh, we're going down this way, or we're gonna going up that way. That have lots of white space up here, which is very interesting. But we're gonna do something a little similar first. And before we go into uh, to something very different, so I'm gonna continue on this on this view row and finish this area first, right? So we're gonna see over here a little bit more like a purplish colors. So it's the red and the blue colors. Let's get over here. Good. You can. You don't have to go with exactly what the color and also the the white space uh, from the photo reference. You can be a little bit creative, and as soon as you make you feel good and go for it. Okay, I think this have a little bit more blue, so I'm gonna take this color, a little bit gray, cool colors in here. That's fine, like that, and. I'm gonna keep going with here. And this one is a little bit warmer and by the edge a little bit cooler. So let's see. Like that. Uh-huh. And in the middle over here I'm gonna add a little bit warmer colors. Now let's take a little warmer color and put it in here. And it's gonna merge together very nicely okay what's the next one the next one is a little bit warmer so I'm gonna take this a little warmer on this side and have it going through here okay I think it's good Maybe a little bit darker on that color. Get a little bit more red and tap on it. Have a little bit darker color. Also notice those shapes. You want to make this shape uh, like boring shape. A little bit more, make it a little bit interesting. Like this shape, I really like this shape. It's coming up like this. It's kind of interesting, right? And on here, I do want to make this it's a little bit too light, so I'm going to just brush through it, let it have a little bit more the the texture, that is fine. Okay, now we're going to go, oh, well, we missed one over here, we should do that first. 
This one looks like a very purple, so I'm gonna remix the red and the blue colors. I want to have this feeling of more purplish color. Okay, that right here. Yeah, it's very good. I like that. Okay, now where are we going from here? Where are we done this part? Just painting the blick. And they're also already interesting. Okay, oh, wait a minute. This color very similar. Look like the same color. I'm gonna just paint it on, since I already have it in my brush. And now I'm gonna come down over here, like this, and have a little bit brown colors uh, for the gap. Uh, we'll take care of that later. Okay, here we go. Okay, good, like that. And as well as the brick uh, next to it. Maybe not so purple. So I'm gonna add a little bit yellow color in here and mix the brown colors. There's a little bit more like a yellow brown colors. I'm gonna have that tap here, it can merge into this color. And also in here, it has more of those color mixed into the color together. Right, that's good. Ooh, I need to leave enough white space, okay? Like that. Again, we want to try to make it a little bit more authentic, authentic details of the old brick. I'm going to get a little warm color on this side too, like this. Okay, what's the break next is right here. And a little bit darker. But let's put the red color first, like it most together. Okay, let's add the little bit warmer color. I think it's too much red, so I'm going to blend into this existing color. Okay, that's better. Okay, here we go. Again, feel free to change the colors. Okay, change the color if you feel, change the color, even change the shape, if you, if that makes you feel better. I don't like this shape. Make it a little bit more like that. That's good. Uh, next. After I finish this blick, and then I come back to add some other color to it, I'm going to add a little bit yellow with the red, okay, like that, it's good, okay, this color look better. Like that. Now what I want to do, I'm going to add a little bit blue color into this area because uh, you can watch out, like say, when you merge a color with the other color, actually what kind of result will come up? Through this exercise, you're going to have a lot more confidence in controlling how the color blend together when it's wet in wet. Okay. Whether or not the shape look good, um, that is a very personal feeling. So, um, you can open your mind to it is if the shape bothering you and ask yourself a question is what is how can i make it make myself feel better and that probably the right question to ask but if you feel good about it and keep it and keep going with that and also yeah we, we can discuss anytime 
when you have a question like that, we can have it as a discussion. Let's come back to over here. And this color is similar to that colors, but we can change that a little bit brown. And this color, this color, an orange color with the blue colors, it can make it look more as a brown colors. Let's see. This one. Oh, they're probably too dark and too muddy. So what we want to do, we want to pick up some of the color, especially the color too dark. And what I want, I'm going to add a little bit red in here. So the color would be less uh, dark and, and change that feeling of that colors. Okay. You can change that any time especially when it's wet is the good time just change it okay now i'm going to mix the red into this colors and i'm going to ready to create the smaller shape right here uh good okay i'm going to let go that's good make a little bit lighter Okay, here, like that. Okay, for the next one, next blick. Oh, this shape's a little bit smooth. I'm gonna change that. I don't want it to look too smooth, like this. That's better. Okay. The next one is a little bit more red, like that, a little bit more red, a little bit yellow, uh, that's good, that's for the color right here. You know, when you're painting like this, uh, uh, piece by piece, and sometimes you just uh, maybe lost it. It's kind of like a, they are not connected. If they're not connected, you're going to find out is a, how you can make it a little bit different. We can do it in the next step if, if we, are, we can see that. And over here, I'm going to put this color in, a little bit connected. So I'm going to change this color to uh, the little bit more purplish colors. Now here we go. Like that. All right, there's a little bit over here, a little bit dark over here, and a little bit over. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna skip that one. That's a little bit more yellowish. I'm gonna come here. Like that, maybe a little bit blue. Get a little blue color from here really quickly and maybe a little bit too bright like that it's good get a little bit red so it will be more consistent with that color uh that's good and then we come to this side take a look at the color a little bit more yellowish yeah here we go like that good all right we're gonna ooh. Oh, this actually is supposed to be a more complete blink. And then the next one is a little bit darker with this color. Now, okay, let's move it to right there. Okay, we can print this shape. And this actually have a little bit, I can tilt it a little bit uh, change the direction of the brush and make it make it uh, able to create some different shape uh, maybe a little bit narrower or bigger shape okay we are done this shape and then we're gonna get a little bit blue color over here at the edge and we can put this shape here for this blick and I put a couple dots 
over here, connect it, and we're gonna see. Now right now we just do what we can at this step. When we can come to the next step, and we can do the adjustment. That the next blitz a little bit yellow, so pick a little bit yellow in here, but not so bright. So get a little bit red here too. And I think this is the colors. I'm gonna get it right here. That's good. All right. I'm not sure you're following me which blick I'm painting. And as you may or may not see it, okay, now I'm gonna get change the color a little bit for the next blick. I don't see it that much over there. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do next, it's exciting. And the next one, I'm gonna get a little bit orange-ish colors. Uh, where am I right now? I want to point it to you and I think I'm going to be, I'm right now about here in this blick. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit orange colors, a little red. Okay, good. That this is, will be the color for that. I don't want that much water. So I'm going to get rid of some of the water um, from the brush. Now this is good, right? That's good. May not be dark enough maybe a little bit more okay that like that that's good and the next one a little bit more red I'm just going to mix the color as I go like this pay attention to it we're first going to get the authentic uh, feeling but and then we can change it okay this color a little bit darker so I'm gonna add a little red and into this a little orange this is more like a brown color and I make it a little bit darker here you go I like that again make it less as a, a boring a rectangle because when you get there you kind of lost it um, that's good and the next one it will be nice to paint it the black in the similar color first so I'm going to do that this one and then coming down over here and this one if you move your brush a little bit faster, you can have some uh, dry brush feel. But you don't want to do it too much with the dry brush. And if there's too much dry brush, we make it look a little bit cheesy, a little bit over overwork. Okay, now this black too is the similar color. Maybe remove a little bit dry brush. And now let's see. This break does a little similar. So those areas are a little bit similar colors. And which is good. With leave keep the attention into this area. This is what I'm thinking right now. So let's see. A little bit of blue. And now mix into this kind of purplish colors, warm purplish color, and then here we go, I'm going to get that, very good, we almost go to the next step, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow in here, um, let's see, I'm going to come here, now this color look a little bit different, it's a very good color mixing exercise I guess okay and then the next one and then keep going on this one and this one I'm gonna add a little yellow color to it a little bit lighter like that Keep the color fresh. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do over here, I think this color a little bit lighter and this actually perfect for that. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe a little bit more red at one side. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but however, put it on first. We can remove it with lifting off. Uh, the pullback on my color intensity way back in beginning of my lessons. I had to learn not to be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid, just have fun. So hopefully this exercise would actually be dragging you to... Um, it's just all about comparison. Okay, you compare with this color and that color and maybe their color should be changed somehow. So it just I have a st have a student in from the college. So she always doing this thing that again and again the same way that she had been doing. And uh and she has already working in her own studio uh, for a while and she came to see me I saw that there is the only way for her to break it to become different or improve she had to have an environment that she would be constantly being affected by other people so I, I suggest her she can come to my studio to paint with me uh, so that way, and she was seeing my artwork and, and also other people were seeing her work. And what, uh, over the time, she, her brain would gradually change the way that she been thinking about and the judgment would be different. It's all about the sense and judgment. So for me, is for us, uh, being in this artist uh, community is we keep sharing and keep talking and keep reviewing and eventually your judgment will be different. Does that make sense to you Vicky? And and the thing that you think that you thought what well, that was good and now you gradually without you knowing it has already changed. And the judgment will be different. The result will be different too, right? So if you think about you keep uh, working on your own and hopefully if you keep doing that again and again and again and again, day and day by day, you hopefully that is going to get improved. That, that may not be the cases most of the time because you actually will repeat your own judgment, the same judgment and again and again, unless you go out to uh, in a kind of interactive environment that hopefully your, your judgment and your the, the thought process will become different. So let's keep going. Um, I think this is uh, what this community would give you the most. I think a little bit from time to time you're hearing it from me that may be helpful, but also getting a working with other friends in this, um, in this group would actually help you even more just for being together you know and maybe something that I kind of like make you feel trigger that kind of the changes feeling that may be even stronger to you so, oh yeah I I can try that after you try it you may be just going to feeling oh that is another way to do it so 
and also in over the internet especially and everyone have a different kind of practice because of their background and because of their uh, their teacher told them and they have a different kind of uh, belief and practice and some of them are good some of them not but you need to find your own way to to express that make you feel comfortable okay so we're all learning together and have fun okay now I'm gonna come back to this one this one have a little bit more purplish colors so I'm gonna come back to just take the blue I said a little bit earlier that you know we are just okay this is the brick right here just use the three primary colors just to have fun and we can add other colors as other people suggested is uh, you don't have to stick with that three color no we don't have to stick with the three color uh, in fact uh, you can expand your color palette is include other colors if you like but um, but you need to be in control of what color you want to include and what color uh, is good and maybe what kind of combination of a color that you need to express what you would want to comfortable uh, the look of the picture okay now I'm gonna add a little bit warmer color on the edge over here so we are getting there and we're gonna continue at the bottom over here and maybe just take this color but I don't want to make it look like that they are all the same that may not be look right okay like that and change that from time to time okay now a little bit warmer and orange okay here we go now this color a little bit different and a little bit more orange a little bit more yellow in it that's good okay now this area a little bit lighter so I'm gonna just keep painting without adding colors it would look lighter now this is good the bottom here is almost done now we're gonna work in to the top. Let's see. Uh, from here, it's going up. It looks similar like uh, this kind of purplish colors. Are you guys having fun? Uh, now we almost went in half hours from the beginning. So we're gonna see. We keep going. Uh, we're gonna keep going until it's finished. Now we can go a little bit loose now like that that's good and coming through and maybe get a mmm for this shape a little bit more uh, bluish so I'm gonna put this color here first and add a little blue color on the other side but I'm gonna paint this black first okay good I'm going to leave enough white. Like that. And then we'll come back to the other black. Maybe continue with here first. Uh, if we can do a little bit faster, the color is still going to be remain to be wet. Okay, that's good. There's a little white gap in the middle. So we can add the second colors into it and still going to be okay. I'm not sure you're looking at me after using this hand, actually the holding on. So it's uh, holding on the width of the right hand and that would make it a little bit more uh, statics, stable. Okay, now it's good. 
Now I'm going to add a little blue color. Now, add a little blue color over here. Coming down, that's good. Change the color a little bit. And add a little blue color on this side. Change the color a little bit. And over here too. Okay. So when this is wet, the color will merge into the existing colors. When it is close to dry, and the color would push uh, the existing color to make room for the new color to come into the page. Okay, come in over here too. Yeah, a little bit more uh, blue colors. Okay, that's good. Next one, I'm going to add a little bit warmer color. A little bit warmer. That's good. Okay. Whoa, that's good. But don't make it too colorful. Uh, don't make it too colorful. And you need to like uh, look at one color and look at the, the other color to see how, how those all go. Everything is going to relate together to create a uh, composition that a little bit more, not like a fighting, a little bit more cohesive. Does that make sense? Good. Now I'm gonna come into this one, and I'm gonna make this color a little bit darker. Get a little blue color from here, a little bit darker. That's good. Uh, looking for the blade that you are painting. Right, good. Uh, this one probably a little bit more blue, so I'm gonna add a little blue color. Now I'm gonna put in the blue color in this, this, this wet color, and the color change. It may not be totally evenly, and maybe still I have one area that's a little bit blue, a little bit blue. That's good. So I'm gonna come to this side and continue with this break. That's good. That's good. Now I finished this row. Now I'm gonna come to the the one at the top. Let's get a lot more um let's see a lot more uh, like a pieces because of the white space. We're gonna see how this is gonna look. I'm gonna see here for I'm gonna take a look at it and get a little bit warmer, make it a little darker. And but it's not so warm, so get a little bit blue colors. Now that's good. Now this will be the color. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna leave quite a bit of white. I think it's too much blue, so I'm gonna get, keep thinking about that. It's too much blue, or too much uh, red, or not enough yellow. I just think about the color. Okay, I think this looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit more cooler color versus blue color. We talk about that that what is cool was blue, what is cool was warm. This is not exactly a, a there is an international international standard across all cultures. Okay, it's but we talk about that already. Um, from what when I when I say is cool, that is more like a blue. Uh, one is um, uh, one is uh, warm, a little bit more red, but uh, there will be like an endless arguments on what is warm was cool to you. That doesn't really matter. Okay, you can have your own standard, but it's hopefully we have established 
or um, a common ground uh, we we be able to understand each other on the same page that the warm is red and cool is blue in the three primary colors some people t arguing is that oh no is actually yellow is warm so I may not really agree that yellow is warm but there's just no one way or the others to um, to say that absolute correct there's no such thing as absolute correct um, we just need to establish their understanding from each other okay that's interesting yeah don't over exaggerate that color there's also what I said a little bit earlier that is try to get authentic details um, to avoid to make it look uh, confusing right so this is one of the reason I'm gonna take a look at the different color maybe a little bit mix this color okay that's good that is gonna come back to a little bit warmer um, I think I'll, I miss one row so a little bit confusing so I'm gonna ping with this for now okay I keep going that good and I have actually changed it from the drawing okay now I'm gonna come to the next row down up there is a like a light light orange color but you can change the color you want um, and then I'm gonna add a little blue colors on it so those kind of careful details it actually would make you make the people connect more with the experience of all black walls but someone if for someone never seen an old black wall that doesn't really matter whatever you do it won't make sense to them because they never seen one so all about connection you can connect with someone, but you cannot connect with everyone. Okay, now come up to this one. And this is a little bit more orange. Okay. A little bit more orange. Okay, here we go. A little bit more orange here. Like that. Okay, the next one. And that's probably too bright. It says, hopefully you hear me saying this. I'm speaking from my mind, as I always do. Okay. Again, this is only the um, the foundation. What are we going to do from here and after we finish this uh, to be determined? Okay, here we go. Almost there. How are you guys doing? Okay. Now let's see. Let's get a little bit more of this orange color. Not actually a little bit more purplish. Okay. Like one brush coming through here. And actually, they look interesting. Okay. A little bit more shape, like a map right here. Okay. 
add a little bit here a little bit more and this one a little bit more brighter colors so I'm gonna mix with this uh, yellow and uh, red colors together okay now we're gonna keep moving up to the top and then we'll come back to a little adjustment okay let's see this color very similar to that colors but it's a good idea I'm not sure let's add a little red to this color a little bit red like that so I'm gonna make this color a little bit red compared to the color underneath right and this color can be very similar okay now I'm gonna do this one Whew. I'm gonna move up here they have actually this color very similar to that and this color a little bit um, cooler a little bit warmer like a little red and blue and let's try this colors maybe a little bit blue okay let's try it this will be the color right here I look at it be a little careful we don't want to get it look too uh, general like this I think this black look more interesting and like this okay Don't make it all reg regular squashy. That's how you would make painted a, a quill. Okay, on this side, and this one a little bit more orange. I think it could be the same color, but it could be a little brighter orange. But right now, just use the same color to see how it look like this. Right. So good. I'm gonna skip that. Ooh. I like to have more and this one and I'm going to I change it from my drawing uh, now I keep a little bit like that that's interesting and I'm going to have this blake so see a drawing is only as the guideline as a reference in a uh, line they're not actually become your like a master they're kind of controlling you okay there's no such thing we are artists we do whatever we want to do okay I'm gonna keep going um, take this color a little bit cooler so mix the blue with the red I'm gonna see how this color look uh, okay, a little bit different. Okay, a little bit different color. Uh, getting better now is the sounds getting better and and then we're gonna take a look here the next one I'm gonna find this oh this is more as the warm color uh, looks like supposed to be and I'm gonna make this color a little bit more under here like a little bit over here too and let's make that a little bit warmer colors uh, this sounds better thank you okay now now get a little bit warmer in this in this one I'm gonna have it mush into a little bit uh, warmer brighter colors like that okay that's good and over here is very much the same color going through but I'm gonna leave enough white gap like that okay let's take a look at the next one and 
there's some gap over here there's some gap actually there's like the white is masking masking so only leave some small area of the black colors to show do it like that and over here I'm gonna have a little bit yellowish the yellowish gray yellowish and have the color here hmm where's that and then okay and I have a a black on this side like that maybe that's good actually can be good I uh, have a little warmer color and up here and a few dot line like that so make it make it feel like that still the blink and okay I think I have cover enough um, now the all the whole brick wall is already here so what I want to do now the whole most of the paper they already drive what I want to do I want to uh, erase the pencil okay I'm gonna use this needle eraser okay I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to erase the pencil first before we're going into uh, working into the gap. Okay, what I want to do, start from the bottom because the bottom we already dried. When we get up there, hopefully that is dry too. Um, okay, we don't have to erase like a hundred percent of them, so it's just some of them. How are you guys doing? Okay. Almost good. I will not use the paint eraser because it would create too much dust. So the use the needle eraser would actually feel better because not much dust coming out and you have to blow them away. I believe all our members, that's my belief, all our members uh Okay, if you want to keep the pencil, that will be fine, especially if the pencil mark is not too, too dark. And I draw it darker so that you can uh, see from the video. But regularly, either I don't draw with pencil or I draw with lighter pencil. I sometimes, if I need to draw, I draw with HB. Right now, for this, I draw with the 2B, so quite dark. That's already dry, so good. Make sure it's dry before you erase. It's getting there. I think this is all dry. Good. Okay, good. I'm gonna keep that. Keep on going. Erase some of the pencil mark. I think it's good enough. All right. Okay. What next we're gonna do? I think the color looks fine, right? Hi, Jim. Talk about blue colors. Uh, the present blue is this the darkest blue color, and I also have uh, Windsor blue, Windsor blue green. Uh, green shade or red shade. 
uh, I think between these two colors. Those are leftover colors that from our last live stream uh, lesson, yellow color and blue color, how we mix them together to create different green. So this was the last time what the color leftover, but in fact, in the regular paintings, I actually don't use that many different blue colors. There's no need to. Uh, most of the time, I either I change the color what I see, or I, st I mostly stick to the three primary colors that I use. That is just uh, Windsor Yellow, Windsor Red, and the Present Blue. And they are very intense colors. They, are, they have worked pretty well for me. Okay, let's continue. Uh, okay, good. Right? That's what I want to do now. I'm going to work into some color into the gap. And down here has a little bit more yellowish. Uh, this gap over here. So I'm going to just put that a little yellow color into the gap. We don't have to cover uh, the whole thing. It's a sum of them. But you see some of them has uh, some white. So okay, that like that, that can dim down a little bit of those contrast. Okay, just seeing where you want to leave it a little bit, uh, just a few white space and you can leave it. But let's have this yellow gray color like that. And you can like a have it a little broken line and this is can be a little bit free as you painted this and have a have a little expression like that okay we can have a little dry brush if we want to you're welcome Jim like that, it's good. Have a little bit, let's see. Some little yellow color coming through over here. Okay. Let me know if you have something we want to talk about, meanwhile. And here, let me see. We can have a little bit, kind of gray color go through here. That is, we're getting a little bit more and more now uh, into the, the connection between those colors. And let me see. I come back over here. I'm going to come back over here to see that that's where we start. Uh, that have a little gray color. A little bit gray color. And have it over here. And good. A little bit over here. Just brush it through like that. That has some gap, and this I have a little bit more blue colors into the uh, the connection. I'm gonna make a little blue color, a little cooler colors right here. Okay, it's not totally white. Okay, let's just remove some of them. So try to get the inspirations. Like, like that in the bit in between here I have a little bit more like the brightness color here too and so observation is important for anything we do you know we are believe that we're not doing abstract painting so we we are try to gather some evidence and at the same time at the end we want to express something and maybe what we try to say. Okay, now come down over here. And here I have a little bit more as we noticed before. Have a little bit more like a yellow brown colors. So we're gonna have this color right here at this point because uh, we're going to add other color pretty soon, the darker color as we go. So it's good. Like that. Okay, let's take a look. And the sun, a little bit warmer color here. Uh, oh, okay.
Great, Angela. Uh, okay. Now let's go. Let's keep going over here. I think here it can be a little bit darker. I can see this, and actually I can make the the second layer of colors on uh, on this brick. So you can change the color by overlay with other colors. So make it even look more realistic. Okay. Let's look at it again. And there is some um, again yellow color tone, yellow blue tone right here and a little bit yellow I'm gonna add a little bit yellow here and mix it well and make it a little bit lighter okay let's see I think here has a little bit more of this color getting there good here right here like that maybe a little bit too dark be a little careful like that uh, I think this one that's fine we actually gonna next thing we're gonna do we're gonna add uh, some darker details okay that's good and down here I think I'm gonna add a little overlay wash color to make it look okay a little bit darker a little bit different now this is what I mean. You can change colors. You can change color, make a difference, or you can add texture later. Okay, like this. Okay, the top over here. Uh, let's continue with the with the white gap color first. We don't want to jump in around uh, too much. Let's see on the top over here. We see that a little bit more gray colors with the edit to here like this it's good right there's a gray color get this gray color in here this part like that too uh, sometimes it's a lost what, what I'm looking at that will be fine okay you can come back to it uh okay i'm gonna get the little blue colors you see those color it's not exactly they look um all the same they actually the color can be changed so over here i have a little bit more of those concrete feeling there's a little bit more blue colors add a little blue at here good like that like that good we're getting there. Okay, over here, that add a little texture over here. Like that. Have a little blue. Get a little blue here. Like that. A little texture. Okay, get a little bit more blue down here. Okay. A little texture coming down like this um, the gap I don't want to make it too sleek too straight okay too sleek so it just if you need to change it change it get some variety to it and looking down here I think this a little bit kind of light shadow because the gap in between that the blick okay this area have a little bit more yellowish colors so observational skill is still very important okay uh, unless you want to go to do abstract totally focus on your feelings ignore the the convincing details uh, over here have some have some blue colors it's not so cold get a little bit brown color like this I think here in this whole area and here too 
when I won, I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. So this looks like a brick. This is like the, those um, the mortars, uh, the motors colors, uh, the concrete light colors and having that through here good we're getting there we are almost get there uh, now the next thing we're gonna do is fun now we're gonna add some darker color okay we're gonna add just those uh, darker shadow color in the crack but we don't want to do it everywhere maybe you're gonna start from the area that you want to have a little bit design with them like say uh, take a look here like uh, maybe I'm gonna have some crack over here in this area and maybe a couple over there and uh, maybe a couple over here maybe a, f a little bit over here but maybe most of the crack would be gathering gathering in this area so you're back being selected right let's take a look and I do want to add the kind of texture in here this kind of like a brown color, warm brown colors, right? Let's get this color, that's good. Make sure you get the right color. It's not too warm though. So get a little bit blue colors and find that the color that you want that's still too warm and get a little bit blue. That probably will be the color and this color can work probably in most places for the shadow. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? And that supposed to be here. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this one first. Okay. Okay. Look like a little bit too uh, too big, and I want to get some dry brushes uh, effect. So I'm gonna change it to a little smaller brush. This is number four, okay? Number four, sable brush, probably good enough. I don't want the, the brush too wet. So I'm gonna take this color. I'm gonna see, take this color. Now, we're gonna see. Like that. And come here, have this color over here too. A little bit like that. This is not the darkest uh, color yet. And just gonna add some uh, some suggestions, add some a little bit uh, of the inside shadow, maybe a little bit darker. So I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. I'm not sure that probably with a little bit more yellow, a little bit blue. Now. This probably the good color. And I'm not sure it's too dark. I'm gonna have it a little bit lighter here. Okay, now I'm gonna come down to here. I'm gonna see the catch the shadow. Like a smaller brush, actually control a bit better. I'm coming through over here now, coming to the next one. Okay. You still can use the uh, the, the number 12 round brush but it may be a little bit less control and I'm over here I'm going to use the side of the brush you see this uh, I'm going to just going to use a little speed so I can have some dry brush feel so I'm going to see that the feeling of the, the break okay a little bit like that so we're adding details now like that that's good now we're gonna we're gonna that's probably a little bit too dry. Pick a little color and the bottom over here have a, a little bit shadow. That's good at the bottom over here a little bit shadow. We'll just add a little detail and over here we have a little crack coming through over here. Okay, a little crack like this. And watch out, you don't want to do maybe too much okay maybe if you're too much it may be make it look fighting 
little bit softer. Maybe over here. That's good. Like a few line coming down is here. Like I say, a little few line, a little crack. I'm not sure. It may be fighting. In that case, we can let it go. Right there. Good. A little bit here, a little bit there. And a little shadow. A little different colors. Okay. Okay, so those are the steel middle tone that we're working on now. And maybe a little bit warmer color on top of this. Uh, too much. But I just use the water to blend it in. Like that. How about this one? It can be a little warmer on this side. Now we can alter the colors by have something overlaid okay like that that's good now we'll come back to the shadow and over here we can see the shadow underneath okay a little bit here at the shadow that's good now we come back here getting to the top and a little warm color on the edge like this, good. Uh, come back with the cooler colors. So keep thinking about that. You don't have to carry the same color everywhere. You just think about um, and what color that best describes your feeling at this point. I'm gonna have this very dry, a small, to create a little texture for this black coming down like this. Okay, a little bit crack on the top over here. And maybe, I'm not sure how dark that color is supposed to be. Let's put some color there first. They're probably too much. So I'm gonna soften this like that. Good. Right, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color of this, little, little purplish colors. I'm gonna coming down to the bottom over here and I have a little connection coming up like that. That's cool. And also add a little bit color underneath over here, very small. A little bit coming down from the top over there. Soften that, coming up here. That's good. Now we come to this side. Uh, okay, Angela, it's good to have you here. And, and the video would be ready uh, as soon as this stop, probably half hours after this lesson stop. So I will see you. Okay, now I get a little crack over here and a little crack over there. And now we get making a little bit more details. Not the darkest color yet, but this would be uh, the stepping preparation stage for the for the darkest color. Okay, now it looks good. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into with some darker colors. Now we can mix with the blue and the red colors. Now it's making a very, very dark color now. This is dark purple color. Let's see, I'm gonna start with this color. Okay, let's see. All right, it's good. Like that, a little bit crack over here. Like that, look at the movement of that. Okay, a little bit over here. That's good. Now I come up here. Uh, where am I? I'm gonna put a little dark color over here. Good. A little bit here. Uh, a little bit here then. Uh, I don't like this. I look too much uh, persistent. I look much like the same. So I'm gonna have a little bit different. And this crack here has some dark color. A little bit changes like this. Be a little careful. We don't want to make it look like a so pre 
arranged like a man make I want to have something like a look like natural right so let's see okay this color over here this color over there and a little bit at the bottom a little bit at the top right here let's put the top over here okay we're gonna it's getting there getting good look looking good and we're gonna keep going with this okay with this dark color to see we're gonna have a little bit more dark color over here let's see dark color over here that is the focus of the uh, of the painting this area I'm gonna keep it like that okay we're almost there if you can hold on it this painting is almost done and I can see it I can feel it okay there's a little crack right here uh, let's see a little bit over here a little bit over here maybe a little bit over here you want to have the thing that you put down the paper a little bit more convincing okay, okay like that all right I think the Blake's wall is almost there so we're going to look into the second part uh, which is um, supposed to be pretty easy uh, that we're going to do the catch the shadow to create the feeling something can stand out something actually would push down okay let's what we're going to do from here uh, let's take a look at this second reference uh, what we try to see over there pick up things is how the cast shadow look like I'm gonna use this one and a half inch brush let's take a look let's do a little free free flow to see how this is gonna work uh, we see that the cast the shadow color a little bit cooler a little bit more blue we only mix enough of these colors because the color it be more consistent this kind of colors I'm not sure how dark the color is supposed to be we'll get a little bit yellow in here too a little bit red so all basically all three colors but more is in the blue side okay maybe mix a little bit more of this color okay a little more okay I think the color is good maybe a little bit blue okay that's good now I'm gonna take this color even more water wetter okay good like that we're gonna see I'm not quite sure so let's see cover part of it to see how it looks Uh, like a little bit coming through like that hopefully it's not, you're not scared okay a little catch the shadow coming down like that so seeing that it's just a tree or something uh, at the front over here so block out that the area that this can be a little bit more solid even block out a little more so I'm going to leave this area become the focal point so I'm going to add a little more of this color like this I'm going to add mix a little bit more of blue colors so maybe just get the blue color in here so in the shadow can be a little colder So now we dip down the majority of the space and the catch the shadow can be a little softer the edge is if you want you can soften 
the edge a little bit. So I'm not sure how you feel. You guys are. Uh, hmm. I have a little bit blue color, a little bit colder. Now I'm gonna do really doing the the scary part. Now what I want to do now, I think the cast stay shadow is good. Now what I want to do, I'm gonna use this small brush again. I'm gonna add a little bit yellow, orange colors. I don't want to make the color too thick, but is I want to take away. Take away too much of this red here. Get the uh, okay, that's good. I'm gonna take a little bit red now over here. I don't want to get a color too thick. I'm gonna still make it transparent. Okay, what I want to do now, I'm going to enhance the warm color here because it's in the sun. It's in the sun. It's supposed to be the color a little bit brighter, a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna add this color in here. Now we are doing the adjustment. Before we just doing the preparation. Okay, now do a little bit of okay, a little bit of the the bright color now come in and now add a little bit more bright color in here. Like that. Setting in this area, maybe a little bit over here too. Okay, maybe a little bit over here because on the light side. And a little bit over here, but doesn't have to go that far. Um, so let's see. You can create a little bit texture here too. Okay, how you feel now? And this is a little bit brighter and kind of like uh, making the area to become the dominant area. Okay, just orange colors. I made a little bit over here. And over here too. Um, maybe a little bit over here. Okay. Uh, hmm, I like that so far. Uh, yellow, orange. Now I have to think about in the catch the shadow over here. I think this color can be even darker. Let's push that a little bit even more. So let's see. This add a little red. So like here, I'm gonna make it even darker. But I don't want to make it look like it's totally uh, washed off. I want to have still be able to see some of the detail here. Okay, uh, like that maybe get a little bit here, maybe a little, a little bit of uh, changes. You know, it's almost a little bit changes. Like here, maybe a little bit purplish colors. It's because the paper wears, so that that shape is very, uh, it's very soft. That's good. Like that, maybe a little bit, but they're probably a little bit too much here. So tap on it to let the color go. Okay, like that. Hmm. Maybe that's too much. I'm gonna let go. Maybe over here can return something. Okay, that's good. Just keep thinking about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe something over here can return something. Okay, I like that. And this can be a little bit lighter too. Okay, maybe over here have some light come back. Like that. 
just use a clean brush just clean just water just lift it up okay let's see maybe over here but you don't want to overdo it if you overdo it it will become like plain boring okay so give a little excitement i'm squinting my eyes and just so you know um so i can see how they relate it let me show you how i squint uh, uh my squinting look at my eye like this so squinting your eyes is very important okay let's come back to the painting uh maybe over here a little bit softer this catch the shadow soften that let me see how's that look hmm it would be nice to have a little bit light over here like a little spotlight you know it looks like there's something that's going on like i see through this the gap of the hole the gap of the tree uh make a little soften and I think it's interesting brick wall and maybe a little bit over here lighter a little bit more lighter here a little bit lighter over here too okay like that and I want to see how you guys doing I think uh, we can add a little bit uh, details in here. Like so over here, there's a little bit uh, too sudden. We can add a little colors, connect that. And we can now add a little bit more detail in the objects that actually in the light area. Okay. Like that. We can add a little bit more detail to that. Now at this point is you can be a little bit more free and creative. Remember how we started, right? We're almost like a very royal to the uh, to the color and the shape. Now at this point you can just be a little bit creative. You see how um, how the dynamics need to create the picture that may be associated with your feeling at this moment. Okay. Uh, good, I think. Okay. Okay, let's close up today's uh, exercise. It is always exciting when you do something the first time. And I'm looking forward to our next live streaming lesson. And again, if you're not in their, uh, this membership levels, uh, if you want to join us, please upgrade. And this video would be live for our member for the next whole week before we release probably share it with the public. If you have any questions, please post it in the Patreon. Thank you very much for sticking with me for such a long lesson. We're going to continue talking in the Patreon. Thank you very much.